Now we shall solve one simple first, uh, linear equation. First, solve the linear equation. This is it. y prime plus 3y equals x, and we want also to have initial condition y of 0 equals 2. This equation is in standard form, so we can immediately compute the integrating factor. Rho will be exponential integral 3 integral 3 dx and this will be exponential 3x. We multiply our standard form with this uh, integrating factor and the result will be y prime exponential 3x plus three times exponential 3xy, I'm putting this deliberately here, equals x exponential 3x. And uh, on the left side, we have exact derivative. This is the derivative y just a second, uh, y exponential 3x, all this prime equals x exponential 3x. Now we can check that this is correct by using the product rule. That's uh, pretty obvious. And now we have to integrate both sides. Uh, integrating on the left side, we have y exponential 3x. On the right side, this is integral x exponential 3x dx. This integral requires integration by parts. Here, I shall remind you the formula. Uh, integrating u v prime dx, we get u v minus integral u prime v dx. Here the idea is that uh, you should be u prime should be simpler compared to u. Uh, in our case, we shall choose u to be x, so u prime will be 1, simpler than x, and v prime will be exponential 3x. For the formula we need v itself, so we have to integrate v prime, v will be exponential 3x divided by 3. Now we have everything, we have u, u prime it will be 1, have v prime v and applying integration by parts we need to write the product u v so this will be x exponential 3x over 3 minus integral u prime which is 1 times v so just v and uh, one third we can put outside and here is exponential 3x dx this exponential we can integrate, and the result becomes here x, exponential 3x over 3, minus exponential 3x over 3, and one third in front, over 9, plus c. So let's write this result again. y exponential 3x equals x exponential 3x over 3 minus exponential 3x over 9 plus c. Now we have to solve for y and we need to divide by exponential 3x. Uh, better multiply both sides by exponential negative 3x. So the product of the exponentials will become 1. Uh, y then equals x over 3, this is left from uh, this place, minus 1 ninth, and plus c times exponential negative 3x. What you see here is the general solution.
general solution. Very good. Uh, from this general solution, we had to find a specific solution for our problem. Remember that uh, y0 equals 2. Yeah, this is the initial condition. y0 equals 2. And then uh, we set uh, in this equation x equals 0, y equals 2. And we have this equation 2 equals 0 minus 1 ninth plus c because exponential 0 power is 1. Solving for c, this will be 2 plus 1 ninth. So this will be 19 over 9. And our solution y equals x over 3 minus 1 ninth plus 19 over 9 exponential negative 3c. When x equals 0, uh, in the first position here we have 0, this will be negative 1 ninth, here we have plus 19 ninths, so this will be 18 over 9 will be 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. Everything is good. Now look at the general solution one more time. Uh, this term with c is the most complicated term because the function is exponential which is more advanced function than the linear function at the beginning when c equals zero from the general solution we have simple solution simple line is a solution the line y equals x over 3 minus 1 9. Such a very simple solution. Uh, we can check directly that this uh, is a solution for our differential equation. Remember it was y prime plus 3y equals x. If we substitute here uh, y equals x over 3 minus 1 9, what we get y prime will be one third so we have one third plus three times y will be uh, x minus one third equals x you see that's true so we have such a simple solution it's good to notice simple solutions for differential equations sometimes they are very important so this straight line is one special solution solving our equation. Now well, that's it.